Hi there, author and freelance writer, Melissa May Younger here, and I just wanted to share with you about some keyword research that you can do to help yourself out on Amazon KDP so that you can promote your books better. In today's video, I'm going to show you some tools to use and kind of the best ways that I've found to do keyword research. Stay tuned until the end where I reveal the ultimate tool that has helped me. And of course, if you like this video, then please give it a like and please subscribe to my channel if you want to hear more about my personal writing projects and how I've been going about self-publishing and editing and all of that fun stuff. Okay, so here's my story. I started out with the Google Ad Keyword Planner and I would put in keywords there. But the only problem with that is that Amazon actually uses a different way of filtering out keywords. And there's completely different keywords that are going to work on Amazon. A Google search is more like all encompassing, right? Amazon search is just going to show you the keywords for that website. So it actually wasn't effective to use the Google ad keywords on Amazon. Um, so I'm not going to recommend that you do that. Just nix that idea if, if that's been recommended to you. Um, but I'm going to show you on Amazon, on their actual site, how to uh, find some good keywords for your book. And I'm going to show a couple different kinds of books, um, ways to search for keywords. Okay, so here's my Amazon and I actually signed out. Okay, you want to sign out because it's going to remember the things that you've searched for in the past and recommend things in the drop down um, based on your previous searches and you don't want that. Okay, so let's say you're you want to write a memoir. Okay, so this is automatically going to come up with lots of different recommendations and you could put in memoirs bestsellers but your book is not a bestseller yet. Okay, so I would recommend not doing that. If you put in keywords, those keywords have to match what's actually the content of your document. They're actually going to check that out. So you have to make sure that it really matches that. So if I put memoirs of a geisha book, if I put that as my keyword, well, if your book is not Memoirs of a Geisha, Amazon is not going to like that. And uh, you probably actually won't get the traffic that you're expecting from that. These are all um, different specific memoirs. So you don't want to use any of those keywords. You could type in Memoirs of. Um, and then you want to do something kind of general, right? Not something that's one of these titles here. Let's say you're doing a memoir of um, somebody who was abused, sad, but um, is a type of memoir. So you could do child abuse memoir, joy, a memoir of emotional abuse, abuse memoir. You could search for any of these categories um, and we'll see. So I'm going to show you what this tool is in a second over here that I'm using. It's self-publishing titans. And I will link that below so that you can also get this. Okay, this is the self-publishing Titans website. It's pretty sparse. All you need to do is just click on this to you can get the free Chrome extension, okay? So this is going to be your KDP research tools. And that's going to help you a lot. And I'll show you why. Okay, so now it's coming up with a score of 35. Now, if it's yellow, that means it's an okay score. That probably means that there is some competition for that, um, but it might not be as highly re uh, searched for as some other categories. Let me, sh let me share with you some that I found that are really good, okay? One is memoir about, and it actually pops up here. So when I say memoir about, has anxiety, addiction, and immigration, okay? So if you are writing a memoir and yours fits into one of these categories, then uh, I would say use this tool and just check it out if it's a good keyword. 
Now, when I do memoir about addiction, because it popped up in that drop down, that means that it is, I already know it's a highly searched for uh, keyword. Okay. So now what I'm looking for over here is, is it too competitive that my book wouldn't even stand out? Now, if you're writing a memoir about addiction, it looks like actually that's a really good category. And it seems that there's not as much competition when this is green, green is good. Okay. That means that that basically a lot of a lot of people are searching for this and there's not too much competition that your book would definitely show up there in the listing of results. Okay. So it's got 2,284 results. So you're still competing, right? But compared to like, you know, hundreds of thousands of results, that's actually not that much. And if, if you can get even more specific in your keywords, that's even better. You wanted to say memoir about food addiction. It actually has a lower score here. Okay. But here's the thing. When you put in this whole thing, if any combination of these keywords is typed into here, then your book will be somewhere in the search. So if someone put food addiction memoir, then yours would be in the list. Okay. If they put memoir about addiction, which again, that was a good keyword, right? Then, um, yours would come up as well. When you're thinking about keywords, don't think less is more, okay? More is actually better. You don't want it to be super long, right? But if you can put like a good number of keywords in each keyword, so to speak, they're called like long tail keywords. These are more specific searches someone might do, okay? Because you want somebody who is looking for a memoir about food addiction to find yours if that's what it's about. Now, if you're in the fantasy category like I am, I also found one. I just started typing, typing in things that might be in a fantasy book. So dragons, okay, it comes up with dragons love tacos. That must be a book series. Um, dragons blood, the, I think that's a specific book series. And so don't use those kind of keywords because these are these are specific books and that's not your book okay unless your book is really about dragons who love tacos coincidentally so i would say dragons knights and then what else do you have in those kind of books and swords fantasy fiction so if you just typed in if you just had fantasy fiction that would be such a huge category, covers so many different books that yours would probably get lost. But if you can be more specific and, and say things that are in your book, if you have dragons, if you have knights, if you have swords, put that in the keyword and just see what happens. Okay, so this one came up with a score of 53. Now it's in the yellow, that means not as good as the green, but the closer you can get to 60 being the score, that's actually pretty good. You can see that this has 3,558 results. So there's more results than the last one I just showed you, which is why this score is going to be a little lower. That means it's more competitive. However, because it's so high, that means a lot of people are looking for this kind of book exactly. So that's a good category to be in. Now, what if you wrote romance? What if you were writing about a love triangle? Well, you should probably mention that. If you have any kind of trope in your book, you should mention that in your keyword. So love triangle. And then what if, actually, what if you're writing a mystery about it? What if it becomes a mystery? Somebody gets murdered or something else goes awry. And let's say that somebody is looking for specifically, they say, you know what? I really love this love triangle mystery trope. I want to read a whole series about it. All right. And actually, as it turns out, love triangle mystery series has a score of 53. And similar to the last one we just looked at, there are 3,510 books that are using this keyword right now. 
Um, and if you're interested in this, this is how many of them are independently published, which would be zero, right? That means that all the ones you're competing against are going to be from uh, publishers. But that's a very popular category because it's got a score of 53. You can look at the average price. Uh, don't put too much stock in that, however, because sometimes it will put in, it's factory in items that aren't actually books. So you wanna just scroll down and make sure that most of them are actually books. In this case, it looks like they are, um, but you'll also have to take into account some of them are packaged sets of mysteries. Let's say that you're doing a romance and you are using a trope that has best friends in it. And then what are those best friends doing? Are the best friends falling in love or is there a rivalry? Okay, so you could try out in love. If you tried out rivalry, maybe two best friends are in love with the same person. Okay, so that's actually a very good category. It has a score of 64, which is very good. There are only 574 books in that category. So there's you're not competing against thousands of books anymore, right? You're only competing against 500 something. So basically you have a better chance of standing out. And because this has a high score, we know that this is a highly searched for keyword. So people are, are searching for these, they might do best friend rivalry, romance, friend rivalry. Okay, so they might do some kind of combination of these keywords and they might have some other keywords in there, but yours is gonna come up if you use this keyword. So that's a little bit about keyword research on Amazon. And I hope that's helpful for you. And I hope that you can find some good keywords. As you've seen, you need to do a little bit of creative out of the box thinking to try to figure out which keywords are going to work. Um, really think about the content of your book. Think about any kind of common tropes um, that, you, that your book shares with other books in that category that someone might be searching for, okay? Because sometimes people do more specific searches for specific types of mysteries or romance or whatever. If this is an area that you really struggle in and you really can't do that out of the box thinking, you might wanna hire somebody to just do that keyword research for you. Um, you can hire freelancers like myself to do that for you. But I hope that, you know, maybe you can try to do it on your own and then you're doing it for free, right? Using that free tool as well. So if you like videos like these, then please subscribe to my channel. And I would love to hear in the comments below what kind of book you're working on. Thank you for watching.